setting the terminal prompt, e.g. PS1 equals PWD is useful for a lot of people. Non-player character, I need you here because every suggestion you gave me is like half right, half wrong. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm actually really happy you give me these suggestions because I want to show you why what you gave will break. I know you gave it as an example. I don't think you're intending people to actually do this. But watch this. Watch what happens if I set PS1 equal to PWD. Do you know what will happen? My PS1 variable will be my present working directory, right? So if I run ls, you can see what's in there. If I run pwd, you can see it prints exactly the same thing, right? Watch this. What if I cd to temp? My PS1 variable didn't change. What if I run pwd? I'm in temp, but my PS1 variable didn't change. And my PS1 variable didn't change because of course it didn't change. I statically set it to whatever pwd was set to at that time. It's not set to automatically update. So I'd have to have this code execute every single time. And the way I can do that is by using some built-in variables that Bash has. I think W is what I want. There we go. So if you set it to backslash W, Bash will interpret that as the directory. So now that my PS1 variable is set to that, if I CD to temp, you can see I go there. If I CD back to that directory, you can see I'm here. Um, and yeah, I don't like that. So I'm going to exec Bash. I'm going to reload my current shell, and it will just pick up the um, prompt that I like to use for this. Um, so yeah, no, non player character, please don't apologize. I love it. I love the examples you give because they're teachable moments like this. I think it's super fun and it's super cool because like even people who are really good at the shell, if you show them that, like, don't get me wrong. I looked at what you saw or what you said and I was like, yeah, I know what you're trying to say, but I want to show that that specific version will have weird bugs. And if you don't know the shell, you might not be able to debug them. You might be like, what is going on here? This is super weird. And then how do you look up that problem? It becomes very difficult to like Google for it. So yeah. Fun stuff.